NIH National Institute of Mental Health presents Jane the Brain, a smiling pink brain with purple eyes and purple pigtails. Sadness. Hello, kids. Today we'll join our friend Jane the Brain as she learns how to cope with sadness. Jane is usually full of joy and laughter, but today Jane is sad. Frowning, Jane stands under clouds and rain falls on her. Sadness is a feeling that affects lots of different areas of the brain. It causes less activity in our prefrontal cortex, the thinking and decision-making part of the brain, and can change how we work through our emotions. A drawing shows the outline of a kid and their brain. Jagged sparks of electricity flash across the brain. A label points to the prefrontal cortex at the front of the brain, and a teardrop runs down the kid's cheek. There are lots of reasons you might feel sad. You might have a problem at home, at school, or with a friend. Sometimes, you might feel sad and not know why. Jane is sad because her friend Halima the Heart is moving away. Halima holds a box of her stuff and stands near a sold sign. A truck pulls up to a house. But don't worry, everyone feels sad sometimes. And there are things you can do to feel better. It's time for an upset reset. Jane sits on the edge of her bed holding her teddy bear. Thought balloons appear above her head. One shows Halima. The other shows the words, I'm sad. Jane smiles. Later, she rides a bike. Name your feelings and tell yourself it's okay to feel sad. Do something you enjoy, like riding a bike or making art. Get support from a friend or grown-up in your life. Jane stands with her friend Santos and her dad. They all smile. Then she takes deep breaths. You can also practice mindfulness. Pay attention to your breathing, the warmth of the sun on your skin, or listen carefully to the sounds in nature. Paying attention to positive feelings and appreciating the good things can help you feel less sad. And sometimes we can look for the good in a sad situation. Halima the Heart's move will be an exciting new experience. And maybe Jane will get to go on an adventure with her. Jane writes a letter. Halima, I miss you so much, but we are coming to visit next week. She circles BFF with the heart. Sadness is a response to something and is usually temporary, like a cloud passing in the sky. But if sadness won't go away, or you feel so sad that you think about hurting yourself, tell a trusted adult, like a parent, family member, doctor, teacher, or coach. Remember, it's normal to feel sad sometimes, but like Jane, you can use coping skills to help yourself feel better and get back to smiling. On a map, Jane walks to Halima's new house. Outside the house, they stand side by side grinning. If you're interested in learning more, ask a grown-up and go to nimh.nih.gov stem. There you'll find more information and can download your very own coloring books.